Our tourism minister, Mamuloko Kubai Ngubande, says international arrivals to the country are declining. This is despite rising global tourism numbers. Certainly not good news there. Today marks World Tourism Day and KwaZulu Natal hosted South Africa's celebrations at the Nelson Mandela capture site in Hawick. Newsroom Africa's KZN Bureau Chief Zianda Ngobo filed this report. <laughs> Local tourism and transforming the sector by including rural villages and towns dominated speeches here in Howick. The Portfolio Committee on Tourism plans to have an oversight forum which will ensure that there are local tourism offices across the country. And the transformation of the tourism industry in our view will again not be a success if our people Bagoma villages, our people, Bagoma townships, are not going to see the direct benefits from tourism. So transformation, when we say it's taking place and it's successful, it must be felt by the people in the villages, the townships, and the small towns. Tourism remains a competitive sector, and to maintain the upward trajectory that South Africa has been experiencing since 1994, visitors must continue feeling welcome here. Out of the lessons of President Mandela, we are learning that as South Africans, we are able to overcome most difficult period, most difficult environments, through sitting around the table and negotiating. And my appeal to South Africans is to say, can we literally just for a moment, think about the impact we are making when people who are sitting globally watch on TV and what they see is burning of trucks, what they see is burning of uh, shops, attacks on people. That makes people not to come here. With the fourth industrial revolution being bandied about by government, the tourism sector also needs to be careful of its adverse effects. We must also acknowledge that the technologies of the fourth industrial revolution will also have an impact on the tourism sector. We have already witnessed job pro certain job profiles in the hospitality such as front desk jobs in other parts of the world becoming obsolete as machines take over those jobs. It is only a matter of time before this trend takes root in our own country. But we still believe that tourism sector will remain labor intensive. The tourism minister says destinations such as the Nelson Mandela capture site are part of South Africa's heritage, which must be promoted to those visiting the country. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Zianda Ngobo in Hawick.